Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know it's a long shot, but I know we can do it with your guys' support. Make sure you drop in a nearly like as well. But anyway guys, in today's video I've seen a lot of other people doing this. Not so much in video form, but over on Twitter, but I'm excited to do it as a YouTube video. And that's going to be my wish list for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. There's not many things on this list that I really want. Uh, there is some key things I do want that we've missed in Modern Warfare and some things from Modern Warfare I would love to see return. Uh, by all means, Modern Warfare did a lot of things right, but they also did a lot of things wrong, in my opinion, and I would love to see these things change inside of Cold War. So anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. The gameplay in the background is a Warzone win of mine. Whether we'll make it to the win, I'm not sure, but it is a win gameplay. It's pretty decent gameplay. Uh, I have already uploaded it over on my channel, so if you want to see the full gameplay, make sure you do check it out. But anyway, guys, hopping straight into the first thing on my list, and it was the thing I probably missed most inside of Modern Warfare this year, and that is prestiging the whole officer rank challenges and getting to rank 1. 155 and then capping it there and then resetting when a new season starts yeah it was okay it was kind of annoying I'll be honest you know he couldn't really it was nothing to really grind for apart from the officer rank challenges and once you've done them which you could do them in a week if you really grind it out I did it before uh, in less than a week probably um, it's one of them it just sort of takes the way away the element of the grind of the game you know grinding the game as soon as it comes out trying to be the max prestige out of all your friends or anybody leaderboards people in your lobbies that you come across you want to be the highest prestige it's sort of you know there's none of that anymore and in Black Ops 4 I've grinded the hell out of it as soon as it did drop uh, to get to max prestige and did it very very quickly uh, I was the highest rank out of all my friends it sort of gives you the satisfaction feeling inside uh, that you know I've grinded this out I deserve to be a higher rank <laughs> than all of you it's one of them it brings a whole new grind and obviously when you hit the max rank 10th prestige or whatever you can then go on to complete level 1000 uh, and never actually managed to reach level 1000 I was hoping Modern Warfare was going to be my year to do that uh, but we didn't even have prestige so it wasn't even an option so that was very very unfortunate Hopefully Cold War will have prestige in 10 prestiges and a level 1000 would be perfect for me But more prestiges or less prestiges I don't mind it just needs to be in the game The next thing on my list is going to be skill based matchmaking And I'm also going to tie it in with the third thing on my list uh, I know a lot of people hate skill based matchmaking I know it has been very very dominant inside of Modern Warfare uh, Skill based matchmaking is at probably the highest we've ever seen inside of this game More than likely I think it is uh, It's very hard to get a decent gameplay It's very hard to you know go off off in a game you know to like go flawless with hundred and odd kills and shipment uh, yeah it's doable yeah I've done it and a lot of people have done it but coming across that game is very very difficult to do most of the time you're coming up against players who are the same skill level as you doesn't necessarily mean they're better than you or worse than you they're just around the similar skill level to you and it really does make it more difficult to be able to get these more you know good gameplays and make the game funner to play if you will obviously it's not as fun playing against people who are beaming you and you're beaming them back it's just sort of you know you just want to be beaming you don't want anybody to be able to beam you it's one of them things in warzone it makes it very difficult to get a win a solo win especially and i know it's already been announced i think there will be skill based matchmaking in cold war i'm not sure if it was a rumor or it wasn't actually you know 100 percent confirmed uh but I would like it, obviously it's going to be in the game regardless, so I would like it to be a little bit less toned down, maybe have like a quarter of the players in the lobby the same skill level as me, or whatever, I think it would make for a lot better uh, gameplay, like game like experience to be, if you will. I'd also like the lobby reset to be, you know, eliminated from this game. Uh, if you play pubs, uh, I presume most of you do, if you're not you might just play Warzone, uh, but after every single public match you do, the lobby will reset, you might get one or two players from the previous game in your lobby, but more than likely it'll be a lobby full of new players which is annoying as well because obviously I mean it eliminates the fact you can lobby surf which is something I did in Black Ops 4 and a lot of other YouTubers did um, it just sort of gives you makes it easy to find a bot lobby if you will but I don't think it should be in the game obviously there have been times I've been playing search and destroy someone's been you know giving it the lip you know chatting shit uh, I would love to have played them in the next game as well uh, but it never happens because the lobby refreshes it's one of the annoying things so I'd love the lobby to be the same all the way through you can leave if you want you can do whatever you want but the lobby should not just fully refresh in my opinion i hope that doesn't you know happen inside of cold war on to the next thing anyway like i said skill based matchmaking is probably going to tie into this i would love to see a ranked play inside of cold war uh you know league play if you will similar to black ops 2's league play if you played that's probably the best league play i've ever played uh black ops 4 league play was decent i didn't like that kind of style though where it's a point system you know if someone can play more often than you then obviously they're going to be higher up on the ladder and it wasn't fair i didn't think 
because um, I was working a lot of the time, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get managed to actually hit the top of the ladder a lot of the time. Uh, but that was one of them things, you know, nothing I can do about that, I can't blame the game for that. Um, it was a decent way, but I think Black Ops 2 was definitely the best league play we've seen. And like I said, tying into skill based matchmaking, rank play should be skill based match. You know, it's, it, that's what rank play is. You're playing people against a similar level to you, you're trying to be the best. Uh, as you get better at the game, you're going to play against better people at the game. If you get worse at the game, you're going to play against people who are worse at the game as well. Leveling the playing field. So that should be like an optional thing. If you want to play against people, you know, decent skill level you know good as you make a bit more competition then rank plays where you should go pubs should just be to dominate if you want to dominate or just have fun you know that's how it should be so definitely a rank play in this game maybe not from launch but from when the Call of Duty rule set the league rule sets are announced I think they should be implemented then uh, being Black Ops 4 we waited pretty much all year for it it dropped super late on in the year which was annoying as hell it should definitely be released sooner rather than later in my opinion and I hope it does I really really want to see a rank play in this game let's hope next up on my list a lot of people do disagree with this I've seen on a Warzone community um, I like to see the return of classic maps personally I love to see like Fire Range Summit uh, all the ones from like, like what was this? Firing Range Summit, and I can't even remember what the, there was jungle, but I don't like jungle. Uh, Firing Range Summit, and I can't even remember the other one they added in from launch on Black Ops 4, the the, uh, the Black Ops 1 maps. Uh, I think there was a Black Ops 2 map as well, I can't actually remember. Um, was there? Yes, there was a Black Ops 2 map, it was Slums. Finally hit the nail on the head there, to me ages to think of that. Uh, I'd love to see these kind of maps added back into the game. Uh, I think it's very, very nostalgic. Obviously, I know they're already good maps. Most people know they're already good maps. And they're definitely fun to play with the different weapons and the different, uh, you know, like, game engine, the movement, how the game works. Definitely, definitely fun. Some of them don't work as good as they used to, but that's one of them things. I love to see classic maps added back into the game. I always do. Uh, not remastered, though. Well, remastered, but exactly the same. I don't like to see it changed up in any way. I like to see it just, boom, exactly the same. Just how we remember it, and it brings forth such a great experience, like a nostalgic experience, as well as new maps as well. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to see some more classic maps added in. I'd love to see Raid added in, personally, but I don't know how that's going to work with a Cold War theme. We'll have to see, so we'll have to see if we get any classic maps, I hope. I'd love to see Seasons added back into Black Ops Cold War as well, and no doubt I know they will. Uh, the way Modern Warfare did the Seasons this time around, there was so much hype behind every single new season that was coming out. Definitely, definitely was the right thing to do. Added a new element of excitement to the game making the game fresh, all new content, guns, all that kind of stuff, tracer packs, they were so sick, added into Modern Warfare, I love them, um, definitely, definitely would love to see seasons, and I know there's going to be, uh, just in this exact same style as Modern Warfare has done them, uh, would be great, personally, I know Black Ops 4 kind of did them, but I didn't, that was, you know, just a battle pass really, whereas in uh, Modern Warfare they've had changes to the Warzone map, all these kind of, you know, good stuff, uh, I think they definitely hit the nail on the head, I would love to see seasons added back into Modern uh, Black Ops Cold War. I'd also like to ha have uh, officer rank challenges added back into the game. I definitely think they're really good, something to grind for whilst you know during the season. Uh, I know they sort of work off the your rank, so every time you rank up from 55 to 155, you unlock a new challenge. But obviously, that wouldn't be able to be, be you know be able to happen if there was prestige in the game. So maybe you could have like a rank unlocked every time you level up on the battle pass or something like that. I think that would be a good way how it works. So definitely, definitely want to see them added in. Definitely a little bit of a side grind you can do. Definitely fun to do. So I think that's probably the best way they could implement it by leveling up on the uh, battle pass, or maybe just having a separate ranking system. I don't even know. That would be pretty cool. So we'll have to wait and see for that. But definitely would love to see officer rank challenges added back into the game. And finally, I would love to see the gunsmith added back into Black Ops Cold War, or should I say the creator class on Modern Warfare? There were so many different options you could. You know do for your gun there's so many attachments so many variants of that gun for example the AK-47 you could turn it into the AK-74U the RPK or have it long rush SMG AK set up it was just so many different variants you could make with literally every single gun in this game uh, it made it so much more fun so much more things to experiment with uh, I definitely definitely enjoyed using these features or still will use these features um, Honestly, I think that would be such a great move. The ability to change your class mid-game on pubs is so, so good. You know, you could have someone 
throwing C4s everywhere all over the map. You've not got your EOD on. You can just switch it up in mid, mid game. That guy's no longer a problem. It's such a great feature. I definitely would love to see changing class as well added into the new game. Mid game that is. So let's hope for that as well. Okay guys, unfortunately this is going to be the end of the video. If you do agree with my list, make sure you do let me know down in the comments below if there's anything you'd change or add to this list. Let me know as well down in the comments. I'd love to know your guys' opinions and your wish list for the new Call of Duty. I really, really can't wait for it. I need to get pre-ordered. I'm going to do it right after this video. Try and do a video on the pre-order bonuses that you do unlock. Let me know if you're excited for Black Ops Cold War and make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them there in the description below. I'll be posting any news about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War over there first and then you'll see it on my YouTube channel. So make sure you do follow me over there. But thank you guys ever so much for watching this video. I do really appreciate it and I really, really hope I can catch you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.